Hello everyone. In this video, we will do an example for a shielded victim cable. This follows the previous two videos of uh, unshielded cases of both aggressor and victim. So since we are using the same setup, so I would request you to open the unshielded victim cable and we'll proceed from here. This is the setup for the unshielded case, unshielded um, victim case. So I'm taking that. And the first step here is to save this file. So file, save as, and give it a name of your choice. The next step here is to first create a shield. So for which you need to define a cable shield. So go under cables and uh, uh, click on cable shield. So there are different choices here. There are solid shield, braided shield, and you can even use or define the properties of a shield. But for this example, let's choose the solid shield uh, with the uh, copper as a metal. And uh, let's choose a thickness of 0.1 and hit create. So this will create the cable shield under the shields drop down menu. So now we need to assign this uh, cable shield to the single conductor. So to do so, we need to create a cable bundle. So under cables, under definitions, create a cable bundle. So here you can bundle different cables. So say for example, you can add, uh, you know, how many ever cables you want, and then you can define individual, maybe a ribbon, maybe a twisted pair, or maybe a specified coax or even predefined coax. It can be a non-conductor too. So you can add all those, but let's just stick to one. And then under insulation and shielding, let's choose the shield with the dielectric field. So of course, you know, the shield is automatically selected because we have already created here and hit create. So this will create a shield for the single conductor. So we need to choose bundle one as the bundle that is representing this cable. And that's what we'll do next. As you can see from the bundle, you can see that there are two conductor, uh, conductors, one the center conductor and the other is the shield, which is the outer conductor. So which means you need two pins representing two lines for the conductors. So for that, let's go back and change these connectors because if you need two pins, you know, with two connectors, you just need to add one more pin here. So this will create two pins. One is for the center conductor and pin two is for the outer shield. And click apply, okay. Same way, add another pin to cable connector two. So if you go under the schematic, you will see that an additional pin has been added and you can see that this still does not take the properties of the bundle because we did not provide uh, this one as bundle yet we leave it a single conductor so to to change that go back to the cable instance and then in in this drop down menu choose the bundle one as the one which represents the cable path or basically you're assigning this bundle one to the cable path which you have defined. And now, of course, since we have two signals, you have two pins. So you need to assign the source and destination for the second signal as well, which is basically pin two and pin two. So what you are actually doing here is that you're assigning signal one as pin one and signal two as pin two and hit up. okay. So now for this case, since it is shield, we can just directly ground it so you can connect to the ground. Yep, that's it. So you have a shielded cable now. And uh, let's see with uh, the same plane wave, we will see what would be the induced voltage and current. Since it is a solid shield, I should not expect, you know, a very high value of induced voltage of current as we saw in the previous case. So rest of the setup is the same. Uh, let's validate. Looks like everything checks out. So let's just simulate. So it's completed. Click OK. Let's go to Post FICO. Click on Cartesian. Add the induced voltage. You can see that, you know, 
uh, not much voltage has been induced add another one to see how much current has been induced basically by varying the shield uh, you can control how much current or voltage is induced like from external sources so here is an example where i changed the thickness of the copper from a copper shield from 1 micron to 10 micron to 100 micron and you can see that as the thickness increases of course the shielding is better you know this can be used for studying different shielding effects you can even do braided uh, cables or even custom defined shield to figure out how much you know the cable, the shield of the cable can avoid interference with external sources with this uh, we come to the conclusion of the example thank you for watching